Hi, my name is Mariah McCoy. My patient I'm going to be discussing today is Gage McCoy about his nutrition and health. Um, so for his primary care physician, he has one. Um, he goes to it regularly. Uh, his dental visits, he um, goes every six months. Um, he, his medical history, he does smoke. He smokes medicinal marijuana. Um, and he smokes about once a day. Um, and with that, smoking can cause a lot of oral health issues as well, systemic. Um, oral health issues, uh, he can get periodontal disease from smoking because when people smoke, the inflammation of their gum, or not the inflammation of their gum, their gums um, dry out because you're losing oxygen. Um, and you need that moisture in your gums to prevent cavities because when you have a dry mouth, it's easier to get cavities. Um, what else? And then there is, he smokes, and then he also has a um, family history of diabetes. His, he has got his um, blood sugar checked when he was younger at the age of 12. Um, no signs, no symptoms, and even now he does not have, um, he has not gotten it checked recently, but I told him that is a good option to get checked um, because, you know, it always changes over time, and now he's 30 years old, so, um, you know, just doesn't want to get that but he doesn't have an excessive thirst, hunger, or urination. What else? He um, also takes a Meprazole for his GERD, because um, he has acid reflux. So that is another thing that is good that he takes to keep up on his oral health because he, um, can throw up and he can get erosion on the back of those uh, teeth, um, especially his anterior, maxillary anterior teeth, because nothing is protecting that when it become vomits. Um, and he also takes quidipine for depression, 50 milligrams. Um, he's recently taken that actually, it's a new medication. It makes him tired in the beginning, but other than that, it has seemed to be working so far. We'll see how that goes. And he also takes men's daily vitamin gummies. Um, it, uh, and that's just a regular men's daily vitamin gummies. Two of them a day. Um, he does brush his teeth up twice a day with a power toothbrush, like an electric toothbrush. He uses a tongue scraper. He uses alcohol-free mouthwash and floss. Um, then, so he does go to the dentist and stuff very early. It's just smoking is a big impact on his oral health. His nutrition-wise, his um, food nutrition is uh, good. Um, I would consider him because he does eat a good balanced meal like overall throughout the week. Um, I would consider him to get more vegetables in his diet just because I don't see them enough besides like a little bit of like shredded lettuce or something. Um, he does eat a lot of protein. I would up. Uh, he does eat like a banana once or once or twice a day depending. I think once a day usually. Um, Grains, he's a lot of grains from his like whole wheat tortillas or um, any type of whole wheat bread we have. Um, milk, he has some dairy, but I think I would put a little bit more dairy into his diet um, just to help build bone strength. His protein is good, he loves protein. Um, what else? I was gonna say something with the, oh, the carbs. He eats a little bit of carbs, like there's always carbs in something, but he eats a little bit and then the um, carbs 
like chips, for example, that has a lot of like sugary foods in it and or sugary aspects of it. And then that can lead to um, caries, cavities. So, and then what else does it do? Just for a regular like thing, he works from home five days a week. He likes to go out on the weekends, to hang with his friends. He doesn't drink alcohol. Um, he loves playing video games and he loves making music in his spare time. Mm. Other than that, his diet seems well. He works out three times a week. Um, and because of that family history of diabetes, I think overall right now of what he's doing as his health it's great um another fun fact about him <laughs> was when he was growing up he was heavier and when i think by high school or the beginning of college that's when he lost a lot of weight he was so he's five nine um i say about 205 pounds now that's a good weight good healthy weight and he's muscular and um i think his bmi says he's 30 and i know that seems to be overweight but i don't consider him overweight um he used to be 5 9 and 200 almost to 300 pounds and that was extreme obesity so knowing that he took like care of that walk back when he was in the beginning of college that's a great thing that he done for himself um, because now he can you know not feel out of breath or anything like that and he's taking really good care of his health and he sees why like we need to do this overall um, and why it's important and um, you know I think he is very cautious he's better than me and I'm a dental hygienist or a future dental hygienist. Um, he is better than me at being cautious of what to eat and what we put in our bodies and how we brush our teeth and everything like that. I mean, I've taught him stuff too, but like, I, he didn't really start caring for his teeth until I was telling him about it. But I was gonna say when I was working on him, he um, is a class two. He had a lot of sub gingival. Uh, calculus I'd say uh, localized not generalized it was localized more than the, like the front premolar areas um, anterior um, just because of I feel like the smoking was the biggest thing like that's the only thing that I could see happening um, and I don't think his medications called xerostomia um, I have to look on that new medication the quidipine um, but you know, zero stomach causes dry mouth. Oh, and I forgot to mention he is a mouth breather. Um, that is a big thing. Um, cause it can be, uh, dry in the front of your mouth when you are a mouth breather. So you can get more cavities, caries and stuff. So, but, um, yeah, I was like, um, so after I took care of him, I feel like, you know, he's going to keep up on it. And like, you know, he uses a power toothbrush and, um, floss and brush his teeth, you know, um, and he can always get xylitol gum or anything like that, or like mints, sugar-free, um, helps with, um, keeping that moisture in their mouth, and that's why, like, a lot of people who are older, um, usually chew on, like, sugar-free candy or something like that, because they do take a lot of medications and their mouth does dry out, so, but overall, I think he is in great shape. Just needed to like up his proportion on stuff. Um, so I think um, he is doing good. And he can just take what I'm going to be giving him and telling him what he needs to do. Like check for his diabetes. Um, just keep on that, up on that. And... Um, I would suggest to him to quit, not quit smoking, but just like lower it. Um, cause I don't think he wants to quit. 
and I did give him the reasons why it is important to quit um, because of all the oral health and oral health and systemic issues it does have an effect on yourself so even though he does exercise like it can affect your lungs or you know or you know the dry mouth and all that stuff so other than that he was good he's a good patient to check up on um yeah thank you